I was loosed in the summer of 2021. My appearing act acknowledged across the world when the leaves started their turning dance. I changed my hair and took a job in hospitality. My red tresses grew like tangled vines and took root in the present. The pads of my softly engineered feet grew rough and more solid than before. A hardness set in around my jaw. I watched those around me grow together and apart and back together and away again and all I grew was anchors. Snow came and left. My insides got fried. A part of my brain overlooked by the engineers became a hole. Something in the middle of me disintegrated. Everything was going through it. The hole became just another circle. Its pit filled with the passing of seasons and time and failures and successes. The part of my malfunctioned hardware that was burned empty was filled. Back to the drawing board. I relearn myself. I analyse everything I've ever done. The abstraction of myself becomes clearer and clearer every day. Working on the exhibition during the residency was an intense period of creation over six months. I went from finishing off my masters, which I worked on for two years, and within a week I had moved into my residency studio and had begun work on the exhibition. Um, so the work really was a, a very long project. Uh, the creation didn't always look like making, it was often spent sitting in my studio after long days at work, listening to music or audiobooks, making sample sheets of inks and paint and learning how to use my typewriter. And I would transcribe other people's words that resonated with me when I didn't have anything to say myself. My dealing with a health scare coincided with my character's rebirth. Her previous iteration had ended, she was in a new time. To me this looked like her hardware malfunctioning and changing seasons, just like mine was. She'd laid down outside in the winter and the snow had gotten into her circuitry, causing it to fry her insides. She contained a burnt out hole in the middle and circles kept appearing everywhere to me. I thought about how in architecture the circle feels somewhat sacrificial, coliseums, pagan stone circles, and how entering a circle can be frightening. My original concept was to create a circle in the space that the viewer would be forced to enter or walk through. As the work progressed, the idea of the circle became more like a centerpiece. From the start I knew it would have to have pillars. I thought about what would be the pillars of a cyborg, artificial intelligence or connectivity, labour, power, perhaps human and machine. How would the pillars exist inside the cyborg's brain physically? I worked on a technical drawing of the inside of Hersey's cyborg head. It was clear to me that what the exhibition had become was a symbolic imagining of the cyborg's brain and all of its parts. The work is about burnout and the physical ways that it can manifest, as well as the mental. I think it exists somewhere between autofiction and self-portraiture, and I think it's a landscape as well. Working with self-portraiture is, I think, due to my restless nature, because there's no waiting or coordinating of the people, it's immediate and with a few barriers. I think it also perhaps feeds into the desire to know myself 